Hey guys, today we will uh, discuss about how we can host a MongoDB cluster in Kubernetes with DigitalOcean. So you guys know that DigitalOcean is a very simple platform. Their interfaces are very easy to access and get used to. So for the Kubernetes part, it is also just like that. So if you go to AWS or Google Kubernetes services, they are kind of complex, but with the digital ocean, it is just few clicks away. So without wasting time, we will create a cluster first, then we will host MongoDB on that. So uh, let me create a Kubernetes cluster first. So we will head over to Kubernetes section here. Then we will go to create here. Then we will create a Kubernetes cluster. So here is the configuration page. Okay, I will leave the data center to Bangalore. I will leave the VPC network as it is. Now we get the options to choose the cluster capacity. So I will choose basic nodes. $10 per month. I will reduce the node count to one that's it so now i will create the cluster you can add any tags here so i will just click on create the cluster so here you can see that the digitalocean platform is creating the kubernetes cluster for us you can see the progress bar here so it will take few minutes to set up the cluster for us so we will wait for it to complete you can see there are the settings you can destroy the cluster here or upgrade auto upgrade surge upgrades all are here so you can disable the surge upgrade and all that so here are the node counts no details insights everything you will get here so once it's complete, we will integrate to our Kubernetes command line tool and access it from our computer. So let's just wait for it to complete. Okay, so our cluster is up and running. Now we need to connect our terminal to the Kubernetes cluster. So you can read the guide here. So get started. So if you haven't already Kubernetes command line tool installed, you can install it from here. So depending on your operating system, you can select one and install the kubectl. So I have already installed and configured. So here we need to save the doctl setup to directly communicate with our Kubernetes cluster. So here is the guide to install the doctl command. So here you can easily install the doctl command and run this command so that your account is set up and connected properly. So I will just copy and click on here. So you can see that I hit enter. So adding the credential, so cluster credential is already added. So now, now just click on continue button. So here are the setups. You can automatically migrate if there is much traffic and so on. So we won't do anything here. So let's just save and continue. So it is complete now so you can click on marketplace if you want to install one click apps from the marketplace so we will skip this step because we are going to install the mongodb in this cluster so great i'm done so here is the thing you can see that two gigs of memory 50 gigs of hard disk and all the details here you can access the Kubernetes dashboard from this link 
so now I will go to terminal and I will say cube serial get all so you can see that the service kubernetes with cluster ip this is already running so here is our kubernetes cluster so it is up from 9 minutes 44 seconds so now i will deploy the mongodb cluster to this one so i already have the kubernetes configuration files here so here i will just go to that folder so cd desktop sorry desktop then kubernetes challenge then you can see all the files are here so i will just do the kubectl apply minus f dot so dot means apply all the files here so you can see that all the deployments and services and persistent volumes secrets all are getting created so now if we do the kubectl get all we can see that yeah there is the service node port and the deployment of mongo it is not ready yet so let's wait for it to create the and install the mongo in our cluster so still it is getting created but we can log into the mongo client via this command so we will use this command to log into the mongo client bash shell so here i will go to this one you can see that now root at the rate mongo client so we are now in the mongo client so here we can access the mongo repo mongo shell easily with the following command so here is the command make sure you have updated the password from the secrets configuration file so here is the so i am in you can see that the cluster is deployed and we are in the mongo shell so this is it so if you show dbs so you can see that admin config and local so we are in the mongo shell and we can access it so this is it this is so much easy to deploy a mongodb cluster in this kubernetes with digitalocean you can see that within 10 minutes we are able to deploy a mongodb cluster in the kubernetes so if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe the channel and if you do not have any account with digitalocean you can just uh, click on the referral link in the description below and join with the referral link to get hundred dollars in your account in your digitalocean account so hope you like the video